A local grocery store continues to come under fire for dropping its employees' mental health care coverage. We first reported their decision last winter. And now one local mental health organization is taking a stand against Woodman's. News 3's Andy Choi is here with more on what Yahara House is doing, Andy, and why. Susan and Eric, today was the first day that Yahara House took its grocery shopping to the new High V grocery store on East Washington. For years, the organization has shopped at Woodman's to stock the cafe. It runs inside its Gorham Street facility, but a recent decision from Woodman's to drop mental health coverage changed everything. Yahara House is an organization that assists the mentally ill, and it couldn't in good faith do business with a company that it says was essentially ignoring mental health issues. But I do understand the Yahara House, who um, you know focuses on people with mental illness, and you know provides really good quality services and is totally committed to that. Would you know? I understand they're taking a position with what Woodman's does because it certainly impacts um, people's ability to get treatment for their mental health issues. Dane County has not taken a stance with regards to Woodman's decision. The Dane County Controller says the county does not have any contracts with Woodman's and is not aware of any county dollars going to the store in the upcoming budget. County Executive Kathleen Falk has personally called the owner of Woodman's to express her concern over the company's decision and asked him to reconsider. Yahara House officials also invited Woodman's executives to its facility to talk one-on-one -on -one with people who've been treated for mental illness. Woodman's never responded to that invitation. News Andy Choi reporting tonight. Andy, thank you very much.